What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It! And this week we are finally moving back into our bus full time and heading for Africa. Starting off the first leg of the journey from the UK all the way to Morocco, we will be leaving South Wales, jumping on the Euro Tunnel to France, heading down towards Spain and Portugal and eventually getting a ferry from Spain to Morocco. We are no strangers to road trips. Back in 2019, we did a summer mission through Europe and it was um, eventful. <laughs> Since then, we have taken custard around the Scottish Highlands through winter. Bloody gorgeous. And this summer, we explored our home country, Wales. We've never set off in Custard without a time cap, so this adventure is going to be like no other. So if you stick around, you might learn a thing or two about what not to do. Get some fuel for Custard and for my clothes Thank as well. Thank you yep. We've had a massive pipe explosion and I need your help. Oh, Craig! Oh, no. The bathroom's blocked. But we guarantee you'll find some places that you can add to your bucket list, and we will show you what it's really like to live in a van. How often is dishes in the sink? Never any room for any of our stuff. Stop, 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 stop. Sometimes van life's not that glamorous. Is this so old that we won't find a replacement? Do we need to think about getting a different one? Hi, love, do you want to go to Morocco? <laughs> yes, please. Woo! Jump on in. Oh. Quick stop at the services. Oh, you've had an accident, have you? Just getting some fuel for custard and for my clothes. And for well. yourself, yep. £1.70 a litre. You want to save every little penny of that. That's about £4.40 on my clothes. Okay. How much? Is this £100? We've never paid £100. This is a fuel price, this is what I'm talking about. Is it not? It's usually a £1.30. It's oh an £103 to fill custard. Welcome to Rip Off Britain. That's why we're leaving. Okay, we've made it after four hours of driving. Just about to check in with the legends at Euro Tunnel. We found out all you need is to be double vaxxed and have a special form. What's it called, babes? So it's called a sworn statement. So basically, I've been in the brownies. You just go, promise I ain't got COVID. Hi, how are you doing? Well, Amy's a bit of one, but. Oh. So, have you got any animals? Never prepared, always oh, rushing. So um, the board says final call, but we're on our way, babes, to France. Bonjour. We got pulled over because we hadn't turned our gas off. Quick, get off, Craig. I won't be able to get in the Euro Tunnel and go to France. So if you don't have a clue what the Euro Tunnel is, you go on to like a shuttle. Yeah. And then you park up, put your handbrake on, and then that goes underground, under the sea, through a tunnel, and then you come up in France. Shut up, you're lying. Mental, I isn't don't it? believe you. On we go, all aboard for France. You say the mill, I feel like this is like an old Western film. Meet them in the mill. Have you sent them an address? So um, Gary from Barry oh, okay. um, has told us that we need to drop this bag of tea bags, this humongous bag, to some of his friends in France somewhere. So we're just trying to figure out where they are. We've got the girls. They're all washed and ready for their holidays. We haven't started going yet, but I think it takes like probably not even half an hour to get from the UK to France. Well, Gary wants us to deliver some tea bags, but it's like a four hour drive. Oh. And I'm knackered, I've been driving for four hours, so found the park up, it's like 20 minutes away in a nice little secluded area. Lush. We'll have a nice calm night. Okay. And then we'll go and deliver some tea bags tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned for more action from King in It. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sometimes van life's not that glamorous. But it's nice and quiet. The worst part about this bike situation is that I turned the gas off, now I need to turn the gas on. So the bike's gotta come off again. <laughs> Whilst the bikes are fancy a little bike ride to the quarry. Can you can you bike there? I don't know, we'll find out. The thing is, if you've got a hike and I haven't got my shoes on. Well that's why I said bike and not hike. Yeah, is it raining? Nope. What else can I think of? Come on Trev, we're on holidays now, let's go dinner. let's go mental. <laughs> I wish I knew where we were. Ooh! <laughs> 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 Getting out to explore the great unknown. It's about to start pissing down. <laughs> Keeps but you on your toes. Van's getting robbed in a dodgy car park. <laughs> Friends, you loveliest. It was just beautiful. You came straight up to us. Ow! That's cool, yeah? Captain Banzi's whipped up some gyoza on the hob. Absolutely <laughs> banging, babes. Nice job. Um, you can marry a dead person in France. As you can see, uh, we started with two big brothers of custard either side last night. Two big lorries. They're not there. So uh, they left at about two, three o'clock in the morning. So very sleepy this morning. was to drive to a little park up next to the sea but first we needed to stock up on some food not knowing we'd need to sell a kidney to the local La hospital to pay for it picked up some fruit and veg 78 euros so uh, I think Intermarché is the Marks and Spencers of France so we will be going there again we got about four things Craig but it's all healthy and all vegan I'm starting to take the toll roads because uh, it's quicker, a lot quicker. But it's, uh, it's pricey. Stopped off a little salad. You go, babes. Uh, he always gets the camera out when he's done a little masterpiece. Ooh! Oh, she looks great. Thanks, babes. Enjoy. Ooh, you got the wobbly stuff, yeah. Already complaining, look. One thing we're determined to do now that we've got back in the van is to get in shape and try and stay in shape. Amy's fuming about it, but I've convinced her to go for a run and then a swim. We're not going to be running. Like, I can barely walk these days. It's, it's just, what, wait for me, yeah? I'll wait for you, babes. I'm just going to try my best, because this needs to happen now. I've had a lot of food and I've had no movement, so... I'm really heavy. I feel heavier myself these How days. How would you describe yourself? I've had a lot of food and no movement. To the side and then tell me Take it away with the other hand and look at This is a warm up. This isn't a, this isn't a yoga class. Yes. Ow. Right, babe. the broken wardrobe. Oh, yeah? Chubby wardrobe. <laughs> She's moaning so much about taking towels that i got to take them both. That's fine. I'll take them. Watch your head, love. She's quick. <laughs> it's on your back. <laughs> that view, Trev. It's amazing, great. Time for a swim. Got my bathing, so I'm going in my pants. It's a lovely evening, isn't it, babes? It how, is. how, do you feel better for having a little move or what? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. But my body's like, I thought we was on holiday. Ah, she's lovely, <laughs> lovely and warm. Running's hard. I don't think I'll do it again. <laughs> the sand just feels so good. It's like really bouncy on your feet. It's 
kind of like you're on holiday, isn't it? You're on holiday, are we on holiday, babes? We might be. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> New trap. That sky, lads. Oh, baby. How do you feel being back on the road then, babe? I don't got no pants on, Craig. We're just taking a few days out and we to sort of get settled in, relax a bit, get used to being in the bus again. It's been lovely though. We love coming back to Custer, don't we? It's just, oh, I don't know, everything's where you need it and the bed is just like a little cloud. It is lovely. And I'm excited because we've got like an A to B. So our B will be Morocco, meeting friends. Um, and we're meeting friends on the way down as well. It's just, it's just gonna be a really lovely trip. The other awesome thing is being in France. Like the last trip we did was in Wales. We kind of felt on edge a lot of the time because you're not technically allowed to um, camp in Wales. There's a lot of like no camping signs. Wild camping no wild camping, but in France they're so set up for it. They've got like grey water and fresh water everywhere. Like little pull-ins like this one, it costs like seven euros for the night instead of like 25 pounds. Yeah. And yeah, there's just loads of camper vanners still knocking about, so love a bit of France, me. They're all white washing machines, but- Wash up machine. We can still meet some friends. I saw a dog earlier, so we're going over there tonight, Craig. We're gonna invite ourselves over for tea. Just touch the dog. Oh, Inappropriate? Maybe. It's my favourite pastime though. Alright lads, it's that time of night. I don't talk about whiskey as much as I used to when I was in Scotland, but I have loaded the bus up with some belters. I took some out to Canada for the guys and they loved them, but I forgot how many good ones I left in here. Red Breast 12 is the choice tonight. It's actually probably my favourite whiskey, if you haven't tried this. It's an absolute winner. What are you watching in bed, babes? Bit of Gordon Ramsay, is it? Kitchen nightmares. <laughs> Alright lads, we're gonna stick a film on and we will catch you tomorrow. Before we carry on, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Huel. This is Clarice. She is knee deep in a busy, fast paced lifestyle. Hello? No, Kathy! Listen, I've gotta go. Have you fed yourself this morning? Take this. Huel's ready to drink, super convenient, packed with 26 vitamins and minerals with slow release carbs to fuel your morning. This is Trev, and this is what Trev usually eats to fuel her day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. I know, I need to change. Don't worry Trev, your quality of life just improves. Huel is a nutritionally complete food and they have a great range of different products. And our two favourites are the ready to drink and the hot and savoury meals. You just boil the kettle, add one or two scoops of your favourite flavour, let it sit for five minutes, and Bob's your uncle, you've got a nutritious hot meal that's packed with flavour. Thai green curry, mate, absolutely banging. And the best part about this whole range for me is that it's plant-based. So head over to myhuel.com forward slash king in it to get yours now. And with your first order, you will receive free shipping, a Huel t-shirt, and a guide to get you started. Um, that's mine. Morning party people! Oh, it was cold last night and we were rudely woken by uh, the baker this morning. We the saw bloody a, baker! We saw a sign on the on the board saying every morning a, a baker comes around with fresh bread. We're like, ooh that's so French and fancy. He pulled up at 8 o'clock and he beeped intermittently for half an hour. Trev's still in bed. This is haven't been done. Got diesel soaked clothes in there. Van life, baby! <laughs> right, get up, we're doing yoga. Attention! Right, today lads we are heading for a place called Fay Camp to deliver Gary's mates tea bags but first of all we need to do some van life chores we've literally been in the van two days and we've already got like a bag full of rubbish 
Captain B still hasn't brushed her teeth. It's uh, day three now. I haven't had my breakfast yet, so I'll brush it whenever I finish my breakfast. You'll brush it. That's right. You'll only end up with one tooth if you carry on. problem we bump into now and again you can't go in if you're over three and a half tons so custard's five um well right now fella getting a little bit hangry then were you <laughs> why are you <laughs> all the goodness you could ever need on one plate apart from the slice of cake there's a cake we haven't got any cake we're trying to be healthy craig oh yeah yeah so we've arrived in Facom. There was an actual car park for motorhomes, um, but it's the other side of that wall, and we're this side of the wall, so I don't know how we managed that. Yeah, cool. So it was a bit of a mission to get to uh, Gary's mate's house to deliver this tea, so I think we're going to take the bike out for a little spin. Nice. Check out the town, you know? Great day for it. Maybe we'll meet some French people. Um, what do you mean? I know this bike's for two people, and there's, two, there's obviously two of us on here, but the looks we're getting, it's like we've got two heads. It's good for blocking the road. I've got a feeling we're going the wrong way. Definitely going the wrong way. We're not two and a half tons, are we? We can go this oh, way. I've been eating quite a bit this morning <laughs> to make up for that run that we did yesterday. Do you think we're getting looks because I've got the, the berry on? Do you, do you legit think people think I'm taking the piss because I'm in France? Do French people wear berries? <laughs> I haven't seen one yet. I wear them anyway. I'm just, just if you're French, can you comment whether I'm taking the piss or not? Because <laughs> I'm not sure if I am. Je suis left au lait. <laughs> left au <or> lait. <laughs> Because you don't need an actual license for a bike, I feel like I can get away with being a bit of a bell end. <laughs> we're told to meet them at the English Centre, which is by here. It's closed. So, um. Gary also said that. Do they live across the road? No, what he said was if they're not in the English Centre, then they'll be in the old mill, like it's a Victorian film. Like we know where that is. Oh, we'll just go there then. Oh, listen, guy, I haven't gone all day. Oh, Craig! Oh, no! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Got a water leak. Proper one. And so it begins. <laughs> um, so what, you've accidentally put a hole in that thing, is it? Well, and, uh... the seal's broken on it. So <laughs> I was trying to take it off to have a look. I mean, it's older than my nan anyway, so... No. Well, the drill slipped and then it put a hole in just... It Water put one in. Spraying out. The drill did it, did it? It's the drill's fault, yeah. Okay, so um, that's our heater and our that's our water heater. Yeah. So um, if we if we don't want cold showers for the rest of this trip, we're gonna have to go and get it fixed. You say get it fixed. We need that part, and that part is only gonna be avail available in antique stores okay. across the UK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we won't speak to Craig for about an hour because um, he'll probably murder me at this point. Um, I mean, it's a bit stressful, but it is what it is. And you know, he hates me saying that, so. Uh... It's the stupidest sentence of all time. We're gonna go back in the van, maybe lock ourselves in. Safety first. <laughs> We've had a massive pipe explosion, I need your help. <laughs> well, I'm just well, wondering what France. I can do because we literally can't use any water now because as soon as you put the, water, the pump on, it just starts spraying out the sides. We just, I think we just need a bit of advice, Gal. Like, is this so old that we won't find a replacement? Do we need to think about getting a different one? Gary told us what we needed to do, and as you can tell by our faces, we knew exactly what he meant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
What's the plan? Go into a DIY store. And like I said earlier, if you don't like fixing things, then don't buy a van. Sit down and wear your on. <laughs> We got exactly what we thought we needed and our Craig repiped the pipes. All right, so I'm halfway through. I'm just uh, I've taken these two off that I have to relink this pipe. And then we've got cold water, but no hot water for now. Oh. Moment, moment of truth, turn the old uh, I'm not sure if I do. water pump on, see what happens. Got, got a dress on now, haven't I? You look fancy, babe. <laughs> um. Three, two, one. Stop, 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 stop! For God's sake. Cool. Okay, go again. Hey, that's good news. I think we're on. I'm gonna turn it off anyway. If you can't fix it, don't break it. <laughs> Congratulations. We made sausages earlier and we've just slowly been picking at them. We've had no dinner, sun's going down. I've got a, a celebratory photo shoot to do. Um, so we were, are you ready? Okay, lads. Chores are done, pipes are fixed. Uh, we're gonna go out now and have some fun. I treated myself the other day to a brand new one wheel, the pint version. If you don't know what a one wheel is, Amy's about to demonstrate it for you. Oh, is that happening, yeah? She's got her pajamas on ready. Not sure if Crocs are the right attire for this, but. You wear Crocs for anything. In the bath, cross country running, What's going to be Go on then, Trev. I have no idea. I have actually no idea how you even turn it on. When you ride a skateboard, how do you, which, which foot goes first? What kind of skateboard is that? Skateboard. <laughs> and it'll level itself. Okay, how do I stop? How do I stop? You just lean back. Put the camera down and follow me for the first go. There you go. Well done, shot for the fans. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous, you fall, you'll just hit the grass, you'll be fine. There you go. That's it. That's it. Oh! Whoa, mad skill! <laughs> there you go, nice day. Oh, she's flying. Go on, babes. Bit of speed. Oh, she's a wobbly one. She's been on it every single day since he's had her. Wait! <laughs> Alright lads, that is it for this week's video. Hope you've enjoyed us uh, getting reacquainted with custard on the road. Hope you've enjoyed us failing at life. I told you you were going to laugh at our pain, didn't I? Tomorrow is a really, really special day for us and especially for Amy. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Amy's 13 years all clear from cancer. And uh, yeah, so. 13. We haven't been doing photo shoots or nothing like that. <laughs> I've just had a massive change of clothes, everything's out. It's an absolute state in here. So, if you're brand new lads, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you press subscribe. And always remember you've got one life, live it well, and rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! <laughs>